Hi everybody, hope everybody is having a great day. Today we have a husband and wife challenge. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a challenge with everything that's here in our pantry, as well as these three Halloween capsules. We want to stay with the Halloween theme because Halloween is just around the corner. We have here the caramel apples, which I think is what I'm going to go ahead and start off with. Let's take a moment to appreciate this packaging. The little sun, it's a witch and it has boots. How cute is that, right? What can we make with apples? I have a couple of ideas in mind, so let's go ahead and start off with two of them and then we'll take it from there. I want to grab a bowl in case we need to pour out any ingredients or mix any resin. These resins here, they're all used but I really don't like wasting any product so I'm going to see if we could reuse any of these in this challenge. Maybe we can grab some red ones in case we want to do a red caramel apple, maybe some white chocolate. It's just so many possibilities with these apples. I'm going to grab some bananas. I want to use something for ice so it's either going to be the bananas or the boba. I think we'll do the boba since they're already black. I went ahead and cut these up in half. So I just took some of this boba, cut it in half, and I made three pairs in case I make a mistake and we need replacements. We can also use these sprinkles for what I have in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and pour them out. That way I could pick the black ones that I want. We may use a pineapple, we may not, but I'll have it ready in case we do. And now let's go ahead and make some black resin. Let's go ahead and grab a little tiny bit of the black mica powder. We'll go ahead and mix it in with the clear UV hard resin. Not too much, we do not want to waste any or make too much. Let me go ahead and get this mixed. The little measuring spoon that I'm using, the little beige one, is from a kitchen set from Target. I think it's called Our Generation, if I'm not mistaken. But they're really cute. I thought they would work very well with the makeup powders. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the apples. And we're going to start adding a little bit of this black resin. I'm going to try and hold off to see if any of you can guess what I'm making. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, what I am envisioning can come to life. <laughs> the first thing we want to do is add a tiny bit of resin to adhere the eyeballs. I'm not liking the color of these eyeballs. I wanted something darker. I wanted them pretty black. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover them in the black resin. Let me first just cure them to make sure they don't move and then I'll paint them. This is what they look like with the black resin. I think they look better. It, it's just more of the color that I was aiming for. I'm going to add some of the black resin to the top of the Granny Smith apple. I'm so happy that these came with the little popsicle stick because this helps me control where I want to put the resin a little bit more without getting dirty or without accidentally touching the resin and getting it everywhere. This is what it's looking like so far. Have any of you been able to tell what it is or not yet? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm making. In this next step, you will definitely know what I'm making. I need to add some little stitches. <laughs> to our little Frankenstein. I just had to say it because as soon as I put the stitches on it, I'm pretty sure if you haven't been able to tell already, it's Mr. Little Frankenstein. Let me go ahead and erase these because they looked mm, a little weird. What I ended up doing is grabbing some of the black sprinkles, which is these, and I went ahead and chopped them up really, really thin. And I used those instead of the resin. And I think they look a lot better. I'll show you now how I did this. That way you could do this yourself if you wanted to. In a little silicone mat or if you have a bowl, I went ahead and added just some dollops of resin. 
and those little fine lines that I cut of the sprinkle, I really just added them on top of the resin to make sure that every little piece was fully covered in resin so that I didn't have to add more on top of that when it was in the apple. I'm going to try and do it backwards this time. I just want to have a feel to see if I could control it or if this option is better. So let me first add resin here. I just want to see if it's easier. It could get a little messy though. Hmm. I'm going to go with it, but I'm not loving how it's looking. I did have to go back and clean it up a little bit with some alcohol. So I think option one works better. Now that we did Mr. Frankenstein, hmm, should we do a Miss Frankenstein? I think we should. I think since it's a husband and wife challenge, we should have Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein. That would be really cool if it comes out okay. <laughs> to add the white part of the eye, I went ahead and grabbed these little tiny sprinkles and just cut a little round piece off and added it with some resin. Next, we need to do her hair. I do not remember if her hair was white or black, but I do remember she had somewhat of a strike going through her hair on both sides. I'm going to try and recreate that with a little piece of a circular sprinkle. I think it looks okay. <laughs> I wish I would have looked up an image to see if her hair was white or black, but it does give that idea, right? Next, I want to add a little bit of blush to her <laughs> and I grabbed some of the popcorn and just cut off two little circles. I think she looks really cute. What do you think? I did go ahead and also add some eyebrows, made sure she had her stitched lip and I really like how they came out. I wonder if finally I will beat my husband. <laughs> but stay tuned and find out. I wonder what he's going to make this time. I'm not present by his side when he's making these because I don't like to make him nervous. So really when I go ahead and do the voice for his part is when I'm seeing what he's doing. So let's find out together and see what he creates. So he's going to grab some apples as well. So we have an apple challenge, <laughs> but he took off the little sticks. What else is he going to grab? So he's grabbing some of the just extras that we have. We have cookies. Okay, so he used the checkered board cookie and he made, is it little hammers? Four little hammers. Let me see, what is he going to make? Oh, they're little feet. <laughs> he, okay. I'm sweating now. I think he's going to win again. He added little feet to his apples and little tiny arms. That is so cute. <laughs> he's getting everything very nicely cured. That way it's secured. Nothing falls off. He already added... Did he add one? Two, yeah, so he added the two little arms and the two little legs. I wonder what he's going to do next. I see he's grabbing his signature blueberries <laughs> there they are and what is he going to do with them is the question he went ahead and added them as i think they're going to be eyes for his little apple getting a very nice cure there we go it's looking good looking very good i'm just curious on where this is going right <laughs> it will definitely be amazing knowing him so now he's going to go for some limes. So with this, yeah, these would be lime wedges and lemon wedges. Let's see what he does with those. So he's adding a smile. <laughs> he has a happy apple. Oh, that goes with the theme of mini verse. Happy sun farm apple, right? Because it's smiling. <laughs> He's making little smiley apples. He has another apple which he added two little feet to. I wonder if he's going to decorate it the same way. So he did add the blueberry eyes, giving it a nice little cure. And he went ahead and cut one of the lemon slices to get a little wedge. I think he wanted something smaller for this one. 
Yes, that's what he was going for. So now he has two apples. And wait, there's a third one. Where did he get this one from? <laughs> he, this is maybe the baby apple, right? Wait, is he also going with a... Maybe a family of apples? Hmm. Interesting. So he went ahead and added one of the apples on top of the other one. So maybe they're playing. Maybe, oh, maybe it's the child on top of the father's shoulders. Maybe. He's reaching out for the oven. Is he going to cure something? Oh my, I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot I had put the little coasters in there. <laughs> He's going to be making some something with polyclay. Polyclay, you typically do have to bake it in the oven. So let's see what he makes. Moment of truth. He has some ghost. I know what he's making. Oh my, this is too cute, you guys. <laughs> I think he beat me again. <laughs> right now, he's going to grab one of his little ghosts. And he's going to add the costume to the apple. I think they might be going trick-or-treating, right? <laughs> they sure are getting ready. So next, he needs to grab the other costume for his other little apple buddies. I really like this one. It reminds me of those movies when kids want to maybe pass as adults. And they go ahead and put those huge large coats to try and, you know, make it seem like they're taller. I think that is what he was going for. Absolutely amazing and so creative. I think he did a very, very good job. Tonight, we're going to be closing out the comments for the giveaway. So please, 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 if you haven't already, go ahead and take a look at the last video. Take a look at the rules and don't lose out on this opportunity. We truly appreciate you and we do not want you to lose out. But here is what we have made. I hope you liked this challenge. We have here Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein and we have here the little ghost apples. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. Did you like Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein here or do you like the little ghost apples? Let us know down below. Leave your comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you tremendously for spending some time with me today and you take care and have a good day. Bye everybody.